All right, fellas, what's going on? Denano here, the man with black privilege. And uh, we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. The Deadpool movie. And uh, being a huge Deadpool... Deadpool. <laughs> well, I guess they can call him Deadpool. But, uh, being a huge Deadpool fan myself, um, I am really, 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 really hoping that this movie kills. Because it's... it's it, it, it seems like the one time where Fox is like, fuck it, let's just give the fans what they fucking want. <laughs> I mean, normally with most comic book movies, I know if you guys have seen my Suicide Squad video or my video talking about X-Men or my other videos talking about, you know, the Batman, Superman and, and the Marvel stuff, it's, I always talk about how like they make changes and I, you know, I don't understand those changes. I would, I, I would do things differently. But there is nothing I can say about this movie where it's like, you know what? They fucked that up. Change it. I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that with this. <laughs> um, they're really doing their damn thing with the Deadpool, uh, with the Deadpool movie. Um, even um, even all the promotional stuff they're doing with it. Hell, I remember last year in April Fools, you had him killing Slater from Saved by the Bell on camera as an April Fool's joke or Ryan Reynolds in costume sending out pictures of him on the toilet and shit like that or you know doing the thing that they just had a few days ago where they was talking about Australia Day and he was making fun of Australians I mean it's like they doing that damn thing promoting this movie and even down to the like the costume the way that they're gonna CG the eyes and stuff and all that stuff costume looks on point they, they it's, it's like kind of like they just pulled the shit right out the comic book and then just and you know just threw it on you know threw it on film <laughs> and and i honestly think it's gonna kill um one I'm, I'm not gonna say problem but i guess a gripe with it maybe it's just to break up the uh the action and the comedy but i don't know why you got colossus and that other mutant chick in the movie but hey that scene where colossus got knocked out <laughs> that scene was funny as hell so they could bring you know bring whoever in the movie um, I just hope that they bring in Deadpool maybe in the future X-Men movies and stuff like that. I mean, you know, my ultimate comic book wish is like, you know, for for them and Marvel to, you know, make a deal happen, shake some hands, and Marvel can actually use their comic book characters in, in their fucking movies, but anyway. But even down to like the promotional art and stuff about this movie of like, every time you see like a picture of them with the movie, it's like Ryan Reynolds in costume doing some like doing some shit or like uh the one trailer where he was like but first we got to start off before i had to you know before i squeeze this ass in spandex or some shit like that it's like it's it's funny as shit it's like they just gave ryan reynolds and their writing teams like yo look think of any kind of joke you could throw in there that'll be vulgar let's do it let's roll with it and um I, I, i'm hoping that other companies take notice i'm looking at uwb you know not everything gotta be fucking batman but I'll talk about that in that movie or, or, or in, um, you know, that video when I do it, but it's, I can't really, I don't have a lot to say about Deadpool. I'm sorry. I mean, the movie looks badass. I can't wait to see it in a couple weeks. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool. Great choice. Very, you know, really, really, really great choice. Like that one a lot ever since, you know, Wolverine Origins. When he, you know, played Wade Wilson, flipping around, cracking jokes. Not mad at that. That was that was that was the shit. Hell, I hated the end of that movie because they had the nerve to call that piece of shit Deadpool when that was really fucking like Weapon 13 or Weapon 12 or one of them. But they seem to be learning. They seem to be learning. I mean, it took Fox a while, but you know, they seem to be you know learning from their mistakes. But. I mean, if I had, like, one flaw in the movie, and that's the thing, I can't really call it a flaw, because, you know, you can only do so many practical effects, but in the comic book, Deadpool has always had, like, extremely, extremely fucked up skin, and, and looking, like, pretty much like a humanoid tumor, and, you know, where people, like, when they see him, you know, like, when they see him, they, you know, they, they just instantly throw up, that, that, that's how ugly he fucking looked, but... In, in the movie, I mean, you know, he just looks like as if he had like a skin condition or let's say had like first degree burns or something like he's not that fucked up. And, you know, as far as how he looks and maybe they didn't want to do that because 
you know, you know, the audience is going to be looking at Ryan Reynolds, so you don't want to be making him looking at something truly disgusting the whole damn movie, so, um, I can understand that, I mean, it's, you know, but to me, I just wish he was, like, a little bit deformed more, you know, as far as his skin, but, you know, you know, it makes sense why they don't have that, so, I, I mean, I can't really have, like, have that be a negative, but, but honestly, I mean, there really isn't nothing I can't, you know, say about this movie. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm honestly trying to think of something that's where it's like, you know what, they fucked up on that, or that's bad that they chose that. I mean, so far, the only thing that I'm not seeing from, from Deadpool comic books, and they kind of sort of got away from it in the comic books too, so maybe that's not why they're doing it is, um, I remember Deadpool had, you know, his belt had, you know, had a built-in teleporter in it to where he can teleport and stuff like that at different places. Um, that's like the only thing I'm not seeing. <laughs> but if he had that about like the end of the movie and like only used it during like the last climb, you know, climactic fight scene, I mean, that'd be pretty badass. But, but um, you know, that's like the, the only thing that it's like, okay, that's a part of the character that I'm not seeing. Um, one, one thing that they have to have, I really do hope they have to have is they have to show him breaking through the fourth wall I know they have those trailer moments where he's talking to the screen. I'm hoping to God that has to be a part of the movie as well. Like, like they can't just have that for the trailer and not have it in the actual movie. Um, besides the breaking through the fourth wall stuff, like I want to see them do it. Like, I mean, like a TV show would do it. I want him to be like on set, on scene, doing the scene, and then be like cut, and then have him walk off walk off the set and actually show Ryan Reynolds walk off the set and they'd be like oh that was a good shot Ryan you know he'd be like yeah thanks I liked it a lot you know I want I, I want to see that <laughs> I want I like in character I want Deadpool to acknowledge the fact that he's like Ryan Reynolds because I remember since uh the Wolverine Origins movie I know in the comic books they did it a couple times and uh I think in the games too they all did they they make fun of the fact that like Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool and or, or or like somebody will mention something like oh who would play you in a movie or something and they you know they would instantly go back to be like oh let's get Ryan Reynolds and um I just want to thank thank God for the fact that he, that he pushed so hard to actually get them to make the movie because they could have fucked this movie right the hell up they could have made it PG-13 they could have got somebody else to play him they could have cut down jokes and be like oh you know we you know we want to have the character but we can't have him do that I like the fact that they're showing gore, blood holes, and bullet wounds all, you know, all up in this movie, <laughs> because that's a part of Deadpool's character. You can't, like, you can't do Deadpool and then, let's say, make it PG-13 and make it kid-friendly. Shit would not work. So, I'm, I'm very glad that they're doing it. I remember seeing an article, and it damn near pissed me off, like, a couple days ago, where it was like, woman lobbies for, like, a PG-13 rated Deadpool. I was like, what the fuck? talking about you know oh, oh oh my son wants to see this movie and deadpool's a superhero i'll be like don't you know who this guy is you can he's not a superhero like that i guess people who don't know the character you know it's like he's that's this ain't a kid-friendly movie like deadpool is not a kid-friendly character <laughs> like like it, it's it's definitely m-rated i mean everything he does is m-rated i don't think there's anything that he's done in comic books where it's like okay kid-friendly I mean, he's always getting blown up or getting shot, stabbed, getting ripped in half, limbs flying off, getting holes blown through him. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they mad that they, they they actually you know make fun of that fact in the comic book millions and millions of times. So to have them to be like, oh, it's kid friendly, man, eh, fuck that noise. But honestly, you know, like I said, like four times because I'm like reiterating at this point. I just don't have anything that I can really say more about the movie. I mean, it like, like I'm trying to think of negatives, but I can't. I can't. I mean, I've been waiting for this movie since Wolverine Origins, but <laughs> and, and, and now we're finally getting it years later, and it, it, it's completely badass. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. I'm probably gonna see it, you know, the the day it drops. I'm gonna try to get a group of my friends together to, you know, to actually go see this movie, but. I mean, I hope it kills. I hope it kills at the box office. I hope it, like, beats out Batman and Superman numbers or something like that. <laughs> Just so they can continue to make more movies and actually, you know, make more characters and stuff. Something else I like about the movie. I also love the fact that they're, that Ryan Reynolds, in jokes, is making fun of, like, his other movies, like, fucking Green Lantern. He was like, don't make it green. <laughs> 
love that fact but but anyway like i said uh, i'm hugely excited to see this movie i mean it's like i have like a 13 inch boner ready to go you know when i sit in that front row in the theaters but i mean i just really hope that we're not getting the whole movie in the trailer uh i know a lot of times with comic book movies they'll um put the whole movie as far as the story in the trailer where there's no reveals you know where you you know i don't want to watch the trailers and then go see the movie and then know everything there is about the movie you know in it i don't think they're gonna do that but you know you never know with these comic book movies so i mean i hope that they you know keep some things hidden but um um, I also think that they're gonna have a lot of Easter eggs and stuff in the movie as well. Um, I know probably not a, not, um, a lot of people know this, but in that highway scene that they keep showing in the trailers, the highway street sign in the background is um, the two streets names on it are the, the the people who actually made the Deadpool character from the comic book. <laughs> um, I think it's like uh, Fabian and something else, but you you can see it in the trailer. They don't make no qualms of hiding it, but those are the you know that's the those are the two names of the guys who actually made the Deadpool character back in the day. But really, really waiting for this movie. Can't wait till it drops on on, on uh, February twelfth. But that's just been my thoughts on it. Like I said, I just wanted to give my thoughts upon all these superhero movies. This is this is going to be a part of a series of videos that I'm doing where I'm doing every major superhero movie that drops in 2016. I'm going to talk about it, so be on the lookout for, you know, if you like this kind of sort of stuff. Um, I may also jump back into doing TV show episodes reviews because I watch all the comic book TV shows as well. Um, I used to do the episodes last year, but then something happened in my personal life and I kind of sort of dropped off from doing them for like two, uh, like two episodes before the season premieres and stuff. But I'm thinking about picking them back up because the new season has just started, so... Anyway, guys, let me know how you guys feel about the Deadpool movie. My name is Danani, the man with the most biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary video. Peace out.